Okay, we have arrived at version 3.6 of the Stream Deck MIDI plugin. This is a minor update with some bug fixes and some new features that may improve your workflow. Let's start with the bug fixes. There was a problem where you couldn't fully clear the title for multi-dials and that is fixed. There were some problems with cycle files that weren't handled correctly and that is also fixed. And finally there was a problem on Mac where the select previous next channel commands weren't handled correctly and that is also fixed. The new features are all about selection in one form or another. So let's start with the Mackey control dial. This dial is configured to control channel 1, so I can control the volume, the panning, mute state and so on for channel 1. The new feature lets you quickly change which channel the dial should control. So if I press and hold the dial, I will get a menu where I can select which channel I want the dial to control. So let's say I want to control the guitar track. I release the dial and now I control the guitar track. The plugin is doing this by actually changing the configuration for the dial. Now it is configured to control channel 3 and if I select some other channel it will change the configuration for the dial so just be aware of that. In the dial rotate while pressed action there is a new section where you can configure this new feature where you can disable it if you don't want it and you can configure how the menu should be displayed. You can use generic channel numbers or the upper or lower LCD row from the LCD strip depending on where your DAW is presenting track names. So if I choose channel numbers it will only show uh, generic channel numbers and if I select lower LCD row where Cubase is presenting track names I get track names in the menu. There is a timer that defines the delay before the channel selection menu is displayed and the default value is 700 milliseconds, 0.7 seconds. So if I press the dial the menu will be presented after 0.7 seconds and then I can select a track. If I press and rotate the dial before that time has elapsed I will control the ordinary rotate while pressed action. You can set the time to zero if you don't want any delay before the selection menu is presented but doing so will disable the ordinary rotate while press action. Let's move on to the multi-dials which both have the same new feature where you can use the dial to select active item. So in the options tab you can configure how the item selection should work. You can select to either just step to the next item when you press the dial or press and rotate the dial to select an item. This dial is configured to press and rotate and as for the Mackey control dial there is a timer involved that works the same way. So if I press and hold the dial, I will get a pop-up message saying select item and if I rotate the dial I can select which item should be the selected item. If I completely remove the delay I will disable the rotate while pressed action and this will be visible on the items. If we look at the multimedia dial, it has the same options. So if I configure it to press the dial, 
If I press that dial, it will simply step to the next active item. And in this case, it will disable the press action, which is visible in, for the individual items. That's all for this update. Thanks for watching.